Apart from well-known corporations, outstanding local government leaders and humble startups were given the spotlight in Maralco's 8th Luminaris Awards. Danny Laurel was there to give us a story. Meralco held its 8th Luminaries Awards Night at the Makati Shangri-La Hotel on Wednesday and I was there on the red carpet to welcome guests clad in barong and ball gowns. And while it was a night of action-packed entertainment and free-flowing wine, complete with performances by the likes of Regine Velasquez and a symphony orchestra, there was a more meaningful reason for celebration. And that was how communities can be uplifted through partnerships. Incoming CEO Ray Espinosa opened the festivities with this inspiring message. Beyond the pomp and elegance of this evening's event are the inspiring partnership stories between Meralco and the luminaries. Stories of genuine collaboration and how this collaboration provided the solid foundation behind each successful story. We are privileged to be a partner of the luminaries and to be part of their success and their contribution to our country's progress and development. The LGU luminaries were Mayor Walfredo Di Magila of Binyan City for implementing heritage conservation programs, as well as Makati City Mayor Marlen Binay for their digital transformation of the Central Business District. On the corporate side, I got to share the excitement speaking with this year's luminaries Frederick Go, President and COO of Robinson's Land Corporation, who shared how they were using energy efficiency systems to improve lives of their communities, as well as Mario Pagio, COO of Landev Corp, who was another awardee for their green buildings. About our community projects, we've, you know, every project we do serves the communities. Whether it's our malls, our hotels, our office buildings, or the communities we build, they have one goal in mind, which is to make life better for every Filipino. Sustainability, renewable energy, and uh, reducing the carbon footprint. No, so these are all uh, towards environmental protection and preservation. We have to share the same vision. It's a vision of community, again, vision about uh, uh, beyond beyond corporate profits. But when I talked to the guests, they said that the most interesting stories were actually not those of the big guns. Before, it's always the big conglomerates, right? And this year, we have all these, you know, awardees. It started really from scratch. And that also, you know, is a very heartwarming, you know, awards to be recognized. The biz awardees are those given to smaller startup businesses. This year, Meralco honored Joey Yala, a former tricycle driver turned COO of Chocobron, and Noemi Dominguez, a woman with a speech disability who is now the biggest supplier of food meals to 7-Eleven via her company, Joliant. And when I asked Meralco Chairman MVP what makes this awards different from all the others he attends and what it takes to be a luminary, here's what he said. It's something Meralco should do to recognize uh, those who conduct their business, their, especially their power relationship in a, according to good governance. The recognition and support of the SMEs uh, is something that's very important to the group, eh? not only to Meralco. Again, as I said, it, it resonates forward into, into what Meralco is trying to do to really uh, illuminate the status of the SMEs 